So the question is, a speeding motorist traveling 120 kilometers per hour passes a stationary police officer. The officer immediately begins pursuit at a constant acceleration of 10 kilometers per hour per second. Note the mixed units. How much time will it take for the police officer to reach the speeder, assuming that the speeder maintains a constant speed? How fast will the police officer be traveling at this time? So the first step you do is you convert the kilometers per hour and the kilometers per hour per second into meters per second and meters per second per second. So in order to do that, you start with the 120 kilometers per hour and you multiply it by 1,000 meters per kilometer because there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So that leaves you with 120,000 meters per hour. And then the next step you want to do is convert hours to seconds. And since there are 3,600 seconds in one hour, you multiply by 1 over 3600 to cross out the hours to leave you with a velocity of 33.33 meters per second. So the next step to find the acceleration is you take your initial 10 kilometers per hour per second, you multiply by 1,000 meters per kilometer because there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer, and that leaves you with 10,000 meters per second. And then just like before, you multiply um, by 1 over 3600 in order to cancel out the hours and leave you with seconds and that leaves you with this. And so in order to see what's going on here, I have a picture. So the motorcycle has the velocity of 33.33 meters per second and right when it reaches the police officer right here, the police officer begins to accelerate at a rate of 2.778 meters per second squared. And what you're trying to find is how long will it take for the police officer to reach the speeder. So in order to do that, you're looking for the time. So you use the distance formula, x equals xi plus bit plus one half at squared. And so you're solving for time. So for the motorcycle, the distance formula would be 33.33 meters per second times um, t, because that's the initial velocity, and you're multiplying that by t, and the acceleration will be zero, so that part will cancel out. And for the police officer, it doesn't have a initial velocity, that will be zero, so you just use the one half, then the acceleration is 2.778 meters per second squared, and then you multiply that by t squared. And then in order to solve for t, you set these two equations equal to each other, which is over here. So you have 33 meters per second times t equals 1 half times 2.778 meters per second squared times t squared. And then in order to solve for t, you could just subtract 33 meters per second t from this, which would leave you with 1.389 meters per second squared t squared minus 33 meters per second times t equals zero. And then you could use this in order to find t by using the quadratic um, formula.